take a look at how far that intersection is away, probably 20 to 30 yards from where I'm standing. Well, on Monday night, that's where 28-year-old Julian Wolf was initially struck before he ended up here. And on Wednesday, family and friends gathered to mourn his loss. He was genuinely one of the best people that I have ever met. He's a real good dude. I mean, great leader. If you got to know him, you were gravitated to him instantly. The words are endless. Trustworthy, loyal, independent. Very charismatic, very loving, caring person. All describing 28-year-old Julian Wolf, who was struck and killed Monday night by a man in a pickup truck fleeing Yellowstone County Sheriff's deputies. A small memorial has been formed at the crash site. For those that knew him, the pain has been unfathomable. I feel empty. I feel lost. I'm sad. I'm angry. Wolf was driving on 4th Avenue North when Jimmy Joe Flanagan ran a stop sign on North 20th Street while being chased by two deputies, identified Wednesday as Wesley Brutlog and Dylan Council. According to Sheriff Mike Lender, Flanagan collided with Wolf, throwing him from the bike. Wolf was pronounced dead on scene. You know, when someone you love is just gone, that's not really something you could put into words, you know? Linder said Wednesday those deputies were justified in their choice to pursue. We're in law enforcement. It's our job to stop these people. Linder said they leave the decision up to the deputies involved who are supposed to weigh the importance of apprehending a suspect. It's a judgment call. In this case, there was information that this, uh, this person needed to be stopped, and that's why they continued with the pursuit. That policy differs from the Billings Police, who employ what they call restrictive pursuit, only chasing a suspect when certain high-value criteria are met. More infuriated with what happened. Wolf's friends and family disagree with the Sheriff's Department's actions Monday. They should have realized that that was a danger to everybody on the road at that time. They completely wronged my family, completely wronged the public endangering them. It was a truck with a trailer, for Christ's sake. There's not a good explanation to, to try to justify what happened to their loved one. In Billings, Charlie Kleps, MTN News.